I'd like to say good evening to everybody. This is our, what's the 15th? Is the 15th or 16th night of the revival here? Very blessed to be with you tonight. You know, people are probably still signing on here. We have a chance to get everybody on at least to come on tonight. But we want you to know this evening, if you're out there and wherever you are this evening and you're lost, and you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, that you can call on Him tonight. No better time. The, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Amen. The day, when you say today, that means today. And we're, only, we're only living in one day at a time. So the day that you're living in is the day that you can be saved. We're not promised tomorrow and yesterday's gone. Today is the day to give your heart to the Lord today. If you're out there and you're, and you're low and in the valley, if you're out there and maybe you've fallen away from the Lord, maybe you're weak, spiritually speaking, you need to come back to Jesus. Cry upon Him. Cry, cry out to Him tonight. Don't waste any more time. Give your heart to Jesus. Turn your life over to Jesus. Whatever you need to do this evening, give it all to Him. We've got Brother Jeff Mosteller going to come and be singing tonight and preaching this evening. But if you would, right there where you are, and all that's on with us tonight, if you just bow your head, we're going to open in prayer this evening for you. Let Brother Jeff begin to sing tonight. Our most kind Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, thankful, Lord, tonight that you bless us to be in your house once again, Father. We're thankful that you've given us this opportunity, God, to come to people's homes and where they are, God, through the internet, Lord, tonight, to be able to spread your gospel, to sing songs of salvation, to sing and uplift the hearts, Father, the singing God, to plow the ground, Lord, tonight. And we ask you, Father, to bless the preacher as he comes to break the bread of life this evening, God, that it may go out for it. And to this world, Father, to those tonight that need the message tonight, God, that the, the songs may plow the ground, Father, the message may go out, the seed be planted tonight, God, that a new life in you might spring forth this very night, God. We, we pray this evening, Father, for this service. We pray for each and every one, God. We pray for you for us, each and every one of us, God, as we go through this life down here. Each one of the Christians, God, out there that's, that's going through this life to be a witness, God, this life to show the world your Son, Jesus Christ. Please pray so hard tonight for all those that's lost this evening, God, and don't know you, that they would surrender over and say yes to Jesus tonight before it's everlasting too late. In Jesus' name we pray it all. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Certainly, certainly, we've got a lot to thank Him for. That's right. Uh, David said, I think it was in Psalm 40. Thank you. I think it's Psalm 40. It talked about the thoughts that He has toward us. He said, are more than can be numbered. Psalm 103, He gave... He said, he said, forget not all his benefits, and he gives us five of those benefits. And the first one ought to put us on shouting ground. says, who forgiveth all thy iniquities. And that's enough to praise him forever for. Amen. Like that phrase in that song says, when I think of what he's done and where he's brought me from, oh, yeah. I've got so much to thank him for. He's brought us, as one would say, from a mighty long way, and we appreciate him tonight. And I want you to be mindful and attentive to the word of God. And I pray that the spirit of God would speak to your heart. Amen. I know some of my church is probably, or, and that's not my church, it's the Lord's church, but some of the church that, that I pastor uh, will hear this and heard, heard this in a lot of ways last night. And I feel the unction to go back to this scripture and, and, and give you what God's laid on our heart. So I want to look at the book of Matthew chapter 26. Matthew chapter 26. For me, your scripture Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. Here's what the scripture says. On, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. For the remission of sins. But I say unto you. I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine. Until that day when I drink it new. With you in my father's kingdom. Let's pray father. We ask you tonight. Lord to bless your people. To bless your word. Amen. Hide us behind the cross. Forgive us of our sins. Help us oh God to be uh, clay in the hands of you. Our potter. God help us to be mindful. Help us to have wisdom. And ear to hear what you'd say for us. We pray. Oh, God, for every unsaved that's watching tonight. God, we pray for every backslider that has once walked with you but has since turned away. We pray that you would touch their heart, convict them, draw them to you. We pray, God, for a mighty awakening in this land. And we praise you for all that, you're, all that you've done, all that you're doing. God, all that you're continuing to do. In Jesus' name that we pray. And amen, amen. and amen. amen. Now, when I want to look at this passage of Scripture for just a few moments tonight and preach a very simple subject, or simple sermon rather, I want to take this title, The Night Before He Died. And if you understand what's going on, if you read the first part of Matthew 26, we find that in verse 20 says, When the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. So as far as we can tell, this was, the, and we read, this was the night before Jesus the next day would go yeah. to the cross and die for the sins of all humanity. Yeah. Amen. He pay the price for the penalty of, of sin and, and deliver us from the power of sin so that one day He'll take us to a land where there'll be no presence of sin. But Amen. this was the night before He was crucified. As we look at this, what happened the night before Jesus went to the cross and things happened that were a picture also of what would happen the next day. So as you look at this in Matthew 26, uh, we find, uh, Brother Tubby, that the first part of this, it was what we what is called the Last Supper. And oh, again, right. it was that night before He was crucified. And the Bible tells us in verse 26 that as they were eating, Jesus took bread and he blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, yeah. saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is That's my right. blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. First off, the night before Jesus died, Jesus gave us an example, or rather gave us his example of what he was getting ready to do. Right there as he took that brim, he said, I want you to pay attention because this is my body. I'm getting ready 
made yeah. to be broken yeah, for you. And as Paul That's said right, in First Corinthians chapter 11, he said, do this in remembrance yeah. of me. So right there, Jesus was giving them a foresight into what would happen the next day. What would happen the next day? Uh, Jesus, thank God, uh, according to Luke 18, 31 through 33, uh, he said, we go to Jerusalem uh, and the things which are written uh, concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. Uh, yeah. For he shall be Good delivered way. unto the Gentiles. Uh, amen. And be mocked and spitefully entreated and spit upon. Uh, and he, he put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. Uh, uh, Jesus That's was right. saying, you remember what I'm doing right now. Because tomorrow my body yeah. will be yeah, broken boy. for you. Uh, and right. my blood will be shed for yeah. you yeah. now. It ought to make us happy tonight. Amen. And thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, amen. Right. As the old hymn writer said, what can wash away my sins? It's nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? It's nothing but the blood of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 1 verse 5, unto him that loved us and washed us from yes, our sins right. in Amen. his own blood. Yeah, Colossians chapter 1 verse yeah. 20, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Yeah. Colossians chapter 1 verse 22, in the body of his flesh, through death to present you holy, unblameable, unreprovable in his sight. Ephesians chapter 1 and Colossians chapter 1 both say, Amen, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even yeah. the forgiveness of sins. The Bible teaches us tonight, amen, that it without the shedding of blood, yeah. there is no remission. He said, Christ has not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself. But I like what he said earlier in the first part of Hebrews 9. He said, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own yeah. blood, hath right. entered right. into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Uh, and so the night, uh, and that's why, that's why I love when we have communion and we take the bread uh, and we take the fruit of the vine. Uh, we're remembering what yeah. Jesus yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's somebody right. said, Does Jesus love me? Yeah. Hey, Amen. If you look at the cross, you have to say yeah. that He that's loves right. you for greater yeah. love. Had no man than this, uh, yeah. uh, that a man would lay down his life uh, for his friends. Yeah. Uh, and so the night yeah. before He died, uh, He gave us His example. Uh, but also, not only that, the, uh, the night before he died, uh, amen, he gave the Father his submission. Uh, yeah. If you go to chapter yeah, 26, beginning with verse 26, uh, uh, you'll find that Jesus went into uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. And to find that he yeah, said, yeah. my soul is exceeding sorrowful uh, even unto death. Uh, he took Peter, James, and he took John. Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, into oh, the garden and said, I want you to right. stay here and pray. Yeah. Uh, but say, here I go yonder and pray. Uh, and that's he went yonder. He went a little bit further and the Bible tells us uh, uh, that he was in such agony until uh, his sweat became as great drops Amen. of blood as it were falling to the ground. Uh, and you know what he said uh, uh, three times the Lord Jesus Christ in the garden of Gethsemane. He said, if it be Father, if it be possible, yeah. let yeah. this cup pass from me. Right. But nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou. He said, oh God, if you can go any other, oh, but if not, Lord, it's not my will, but thine be done. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. told them right. the later on, yeah. he said, do not think I could call my Father and he'll presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. He could have spoke one word. As a matter of fact, in John 18, when Jesus said, three words. He said, I am he. Uh, the soldiers fell down. Uh, Jesus could have said one word. Uh, amen. Smote everybody on the spot. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, nobody took his life. He gave it. Amen. amen. Uh, his blood was not spilled. It was shed. Uh, amen. He submitted himself to the will of the Father. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 says, uh, talking about Jesus who being in the form of God, uh, thought it not robbery to be in with God, uh, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross yeah. wherefore yeah. God's highly yeah. exalted him yeah. and given him a name yeah. that's above every name yeah. that the name of Jesus yeah. every knee should bow things in heaven things in earth things under the earth and every tongue should confess that 
that Jesus Christ is Lord unto uh, the glory of God yeah, the Father. Yeah, uh, the Bible yeah, tells yeah. us, uh, Hebrews chapter 5, around verse number 8, uh, yeah, verse 8, though he were son, uh, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Uh, and being made perfect, uh, he became the author of eternal salvation uh, to all them that obey him. Uh, he submitted him to night before Jesus died. Yeah, he gave us right. his example. Yeah, right. And he gave the, the Father his Father's submission. Uh, preacher, what else happened? The night before he died, um, not only did he give us his example, um, not only did the give the father submission, but he gave Judas love. Uh, if you go yeah, to the in this chapter, beginning with verse forty-seven, uh, the Bible tells us while he yet spake, uh, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, uh, came with him, uh, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves uh, from the chief priests and elders of the people. Uh, now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, a uh, uh, saying, whomsoever. Ever I shall kiss uh, the same as he I holding shall. fast uh, and forthwith he came to Jesus uh, and said hail master and kissed him and Jesus said unto him notice this next word friend wherefore art thou come yeah. and so yeah, if you understand yeah. you know what had happened uh, Jesus had made an agreement with the Pharisees uh, in to, uh, up, for, uh, up for 30 in exchange for 30 pieces yeah. of silver uh, Jesus yeah, would deliver up Jesus to the authority and Judas betrayed him one of his friends one of those of the twelve disciples that went that saw him heal the sick and saw him raise the dead one that was a, a close person a friend with him was there ever but all of a sudden yes, now Judas yeah, yeah, yeah. had betrayed him and Judas had delivered him to the religious elite and the religious authority and he came yeah, to him yeah. this was not a kiss of love but Judas gave him a kiss of betrayal. Yeah. And yet Jesus yeah. looked at him and said, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Isn't it amazing yeah. that he rejected him? Amen. And that he went against his purpose, plan, and will. Judas did. And yet the Lord Jesus Christ looked at him and gave him a term of affection. I said, yeah. He loved yeah. him. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Now that may not do anything for you, but I had rejected God. Yeah. I had said no to God. I sinned against the yeah, precepts right. of God. Yeah, I yeah, stood my fist in God's face by my rejection of Him and said, by that I don't want you. And aren't you glad that even though we were rebellious to the will of God, and then the Bible tells us when we were without strength in due time, yeah. Christ died for yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, for yeah, scarce yeah, yeah, a righteous yeah. man would one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Here it is. But God committed His love toward us. Yeah, and that yeah. while we were yet sinners, yeah, Christ died for yeah, us. He yeah, loves yeah. you when you're a drunk. He loves you when you're on drugs. He loves you no matter what you're doing. For God so loved the world that He gave yeah, yeah, His only begotten yeah, Son. Yeah. Up that who's in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He loves you in spite of what you've done. Yeah, my dear. First John chapter 4 says here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. He loved us when we went when we didn't love him. Praise the Lord. Amen. He gave us his example. He gave the Father submission. He gave Judas kindness and love. Not only that, you go to verse 62 of this same chapter. Uh, the Bible tells us that the high priest arose uh, and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses saith against thee? Uh, but Jesus, he, now Jesus is standing before the high priest Caiaphas. Uh, and he said, But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God. Amen. That thou tellest whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Verse 64, Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said. If you flip, flip over to Mark chapter number 14, verse number 62, you'll find that the very same story was given. He stood before Caiaphas and he said, Caiaphas said, Are you the Son of God? Mark's account of this gospel, of this story, Mark 14, 62, 
You know what he said? Look, he said, uh, Jesus answered by saying, I am. Praise the Lord. Yeah. He gave us an example. Right. He gave the Father submission. He gave Judas love and kindness. And he gave Caiaphas his answer. Yeah. Uh, Caiaphas said, Are you the Son of God? Are you the Christ? Are you the Messiah? Yeah. Yeah. Are you the anointed one? Are you the one? Are you saying you're the one that came to save the lost? Are you the one that the angel said he'll sit upon the throne of his father, David? Are you the one that's the king of kings? Are you the one? And the world saying the same question today. This Jesus whom you're preaching about, is he the one? And Jesus, as he gave Caiaphas the answer, he'll give you the same answer. He yeah. says, I am. Yeah. He said, John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 15, 1, I am the true vine. John 15, I, or excuse me, John 11, I am the resurrection and the life. Yeah. John 8, 58, before Abraham was, I am. It's Jesus. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You want to know if he's the one? Yes, he's the one. He's the one. Look up to Jesus, the author, and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. He gave Caiaphas his answer. The night before he died, one more, he gave Peter mercy. You go through this chapter and you pick up with verse 69. Go through verse 75. If you read the back story, you find that Peter had made, had bragged and made this statement. I, I, if, even if all men forsake you, I'm not going to forsake you. I'll go with you. I'll even die for you. That's right. Jesus said to him, before the cock crows, you're going to yeah. deny me three times. Yeah. Amen. If you read Luke's account of this, it was the same night during the time of, of, of that last supper. Jesus looked at Peter in Luke 22, 31 and 32. He said, Sat Simon, Simon, Satan hath desired to have you. Yeah. That he might sift you That's as right. Yeah. But I prayed for thee. That's right. That thy faith fail Amen. not. Amen. That's right. When thou art converted, strengthen the brethren. Amen. That night, three different times, somebody would come to the apostle, or come to the, come to Peter. Are you one of them Jesus followers? No, I'm not. I know, no. One said, "Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Your 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 speech, but uh, your talk. I can tell by the way you talk that you're one of them." He said, "No, I'm not." Then finally, somebody else came. But Johnny, he began to curse and to swear. Three times. Amen. 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 Three times. Uh, uh, Peter denied him that night. Uh, and then you'll find that immediately the, the cock crew in the Bible tells us. Uh, amen. I think it's verse 75. Yeah. Uh, that Peter went out and he wept bitterly. Amen. Yeah, uh, you know what? Amen. Number one happened. Uh, when he had sinned against God, uh, he got convicted of Amen. sinning against Amen. God. Uh, and when he got convicted of sinning against God, Amen. The bus buckled our seatbelt. He went out and he repented for yeah. having yeah. sinned against yeah. God. May yeah. I say tonight, Luke 13, Praise 3, Lord. Luke 13, 5, uh, Jesus said, Except thou repent, you shall all likewise yeah. perish. Yeah. Uh, Psalm 34, 18, the Lord's not to them that have a broken heart and save us such as be a contrite spirit. Uh, Isaiah 57, 15, uh, God said, I dwell with him uh, that is of a contrite, humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and revive out the heart of the contract ones. Amen. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Uh, Peter was sorry for what he had done. Uh, and Peter went out and he, re he went bitterly. He repented. Uh, and we could stop the story right there and I wouldn't be doing you an injustice. Uh, uh, but you'll find that Peter denied him three times. Uh, but it was just a little bit later. Uh, when Jesus resurrected him, there was Peter and John that ran to the tomb. Uh, and just a few days That's after right. that, uh, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost came upon Peter.
in such a way that he stood up and preached the gospel and 3,000 people would get born again. Uh, Just a few chapters later, he would say to Aeneas that had been lame, uh, Jesus Christ made you whole. And he got up. You know then, and look what happened. If we could stop the story right there uh, in Matthew 26, uh, we'd say Peter was a failure. Amen. But I'm glad God didn't give up on Peter. He still used him later on for the glory of God. I don't know about any of you that's listening, but thank God tonight I have been a failure to God. I have messed up. I have run my nose in the mud. Aren't you glad tonight that His mercy is everlasting? If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. His mercy it endureth forever. And aren't you glad about Let me say this to you tonight. All these things he did the night before he was crucified. Which was a which they all were a picture of what would happen the next day and following. His body would be broken for us. He submitted himself to the will of the Father. Right now he extends love and mercy. He's given you the answer. That he is the Christ of the Son of God. And right now, at this very moment, hallelujah, he will extend mercy to you. We used to sing a hymn in the church we was raised. We still sing it from time to time. And it says, mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burden so I found liberty at Calvary. And that's what happened the night before. But then the next day, he will be tried again. He would die for our sins. And then three nights and three days later, he rose up victorious over yeah. death, held the grave. Yeah. And the angel said, Why seek in the living among the dead? He's not here, but he is risen. And right now, he's alive forevermore. He's at the right hand of the Father. And he will save you if you call upon him. Yeah. He'll yeah. save Amen. you right there where you're at. I'm glad the gospel is how the Christ died for our sins uh, according to the scripture and that he was buried uh, and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. And so the night before he died he gave us his example. He gave the father submission. He gave Judas kindness and love. He gave Caiaphas the answer and he extended mercy out to Peter. He'll do the same thing for you tonight. As we said the last time we preached on this setting, the Philippian jailer asked a simple question. He said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Amen. The response was this. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. Amen. What an invitation. Revelation twenty two seventeen. I'll say this and I'll hush. Here's what the Bible says. The Spirit and the Bride Say come. Mm-hmm. The Holy Ghost in the church, the Spirit and the bride, they both say come. Yes. Amen. Let him that heareth say come. Let him that is a thirst. I know I'm talking to some people that are thirsty. Amen. Not naturally, but spiritually. Yes, yes amen, brother. Him that is a thirst, come. And whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. We began the service by saying give up and let Jesus take over. I encourage you, if you're in the, in the living room, kneel beside the couch. If you're in the bedroom, kneel beside the bed. Wherever you're at, if God's tugging at your heart, He died for you, you need to accept Him. Amen. As we come to a close, for by grace are you saved through faith. That not of ourselves is the gift of God. I don't know if the preachers are putting their phone numbers on there, but if they have been during the service, call one of these numbers. Send a message to any of the preachers. Tell us you want to be saved. Tell us you got saved. He's the answer. God bless you is our prayer.